on this afternoon Local and this evening. So the severe threats just encompassing all of our area and then all the way up into the northern Gulf Coast, even the southern states. Let me zoom it on in, though. We're in the slight risk category for isolated tornadoes, and it looks like maybe some small hail. And then, of course, the flooding risk is still here, though we're only going to see it in pockets, not that widespread burst that we saw over Fort Lauderdale, Miami-Dade yesterday, though they're still under a flood watch. We've just been on the cusp of this, though we've seen some much-needed rainfall, but it's been dicey the last few days. Winds a little less today. There's some isolated showers offshore right now. We're actually in a lull, so it really is after about noontime today that we fire things up. Your WPBF 25 first morning weather day status extending really at any point today. It doesn't take much. The ground is already saturated, so widespread downpours and isolated storms expected yet again. A little less on the winds. That's one saving grace, but listen, I mean, we got so much rain in such a short amount of time. Quarry this right around the Fort Lauderdale International Airport, 18.8 inches. Just depending on where you are, it's anywhere from 14 to 20. So it has been really insane. And, you know, it's going to continue. Vanessa? And yes, Sandra, and they're still under a flood watch until later on tonight, until 8 o'clock this evening from Boca all the way down towards Miami. So for Miami-Dade and Broward County, they will be dealing with more rain as we head into the afternoon hours and also a flood warning for parts of Dana Beach um, as we head into the afternoon hours in that part. So for us, we are going to see the threat for severe weather isolated to scatter severe storms from the Treasure Coast down into Boca Raton. As you can see, the deep colors are indicating strong to severe storms out there so we could see those wind gusts over 55 miles per hour even close to 60 mile per hour winds in those quick downpours passing through south florida so the impacts for today will be torrential downpours localized flooding strong wind gusts like i mentioned over 60 miles per hour and we cannot rule out a quick tornado in the forecast because the threat is actually pretty high as we head into the afternoon hours sanya shaw will time out um your hour by hour forecast